Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard One Crafty Guide series video. Last episode we did Athena battle site. We learned how to craft it. Not that bad. I tried out the new style of going to where every reagent is, and you know, I think people like that. So I'm gonna be doing that again and giving some other options as well, telling you kind of where everything is, and you know, that's sick. So today's episode is Grendel's Amend. Now, uh, Grendel's Amend is an interesting spell because it is a myth spell, but it is a healing spell. So as you can see here, heals a flat, flat 675 damage. I'm pretty sure with um, Guiding Light or whatever on it. Is that what it's called? It's basically the enchant version for a healing spell. It gives plus 100 healing. Um, I'm sure that that works on it. That's pretty, pretty poggers, you know? Like, not gonna lie, that's kind of sick. Um, it gives myth an option to heal similar to how death has sacrifice and life has literally all of their spells balance has uh, helping hand um, I think that's really a pa power link with fire but that's most of it so um, this uh, recipe is um, a bit difficult it is um, it might not seem difficult at first uh, until you look at the latter half of it so like you know you see perfect jade and then you see um, perfect sapphire and then shells and you're like oh okay i know how to get those we've kind of gone over this in the past you know you go to Architus and celestia get his uh get his reagents get the perfect reagents boom that's really easy and then shells you can buy at the bazaar pretty frequently um you can also find them on the ground in celestia um you know that it, it's decently easy to get shells so you know this recipe isn't too, too hard then you look at the other things now squ flying squid ink is pretty difficult to get actually it's sold in the bazaar but um only rarely is it sold in the bazaar and um you know obviously that's one major issue with it the second fact is 150 diamonds is kind of insane that is a shit ton of diamonds so i'm gonna go uh through this uh, one by one, I've already gone over the first three, really. Shells, you can find just around Celestia. As you can see, I think this one right here. Is this one? Yep, a shell. Boom. You can find them around Celestia. Uh, just about every Celestia street, but I suggest the underwater areas, not the floating land. And um, I'm sure you can find a bunch of shells. Um, next, we're going to go on to the Flying Squid Ink. So I'll, st I'll see you when I'm where uh, the most common location is. All right, everyone, so I've looked at every single way to get flying squid ink. Um, if you don't want to do battles and you don't want to farm for it because that it might be less time, you can go fishing in the Massive Fantasy Palace or the Heavenly Palace, which are both houses. You can probably find them in housing tours. I'm pretty sure you can fish in housing tours. So just go to one of those and fish there. Um, but if you decide, oh, I want to farm for it instead, it is dropped by a lot of Imperia bosses. It can be sold in the bazaar, but you'll probably almost never see it in the bazaar. But this is the way that I found that was the easiest, I think, is from this side quest right here from Sebastia. You can see we need to go to a monkey spider nest. And basically, it is a 10,000 health life boss. And this boss, um, you know, should be decently easy to defeat and can drop flying squid ink. So if you want, you can wait for double reagents and go for that. Um, I would recommend, um, if, if you're looking to craft this at an early level, it is going to be extremely difficult, and you're probably ha going to have to do fishing and uh, looking in the bazaar, so I wish you luck, but most likely, um, you know, you're going to want to craft this, like, after you do Imperia at least once, just so you can have, a like, a decent, a, a substantial amount of flying squid ink before you try to craft it. Um, that's what I would recommend. Um, you know, hopefully that is, you know, enough. If you have any ways to get flying squid ink that are easier than that, please let me know in the comments. I will pin your comment, you know, and it'll be a pogger time. So, stone block into diamonds. Diamonds, um, you can make them tr from transmute. Uh, let me see right here. Transmute diamonds. 15 ore for one diamond now 150 diamonds is insane that is going to take you a long time so if you're wanting to get this spell you're gonna need to be really patient because it's just not gonna work very well if you're not um 
I would recommend scouring the bazaar. There tends to be times when people drop large large amounts of reagents in the bazaar because, you know, they want gold and they're desperate. So they sell all of them at once. Um, the other way to get ore is where I currently am. For some reason, both these realms are empty. I'm going to assume someone is also reagent farming right now, but ore can spawn here. It can spawn over here by these games right here and here and it can spawn in here a bit um i would wait for d double reagents and go for it then obviously um if you're not patient enough to do that go to the bazaar find it um there are other places to get ore um that's just the easiest in my opinion there um and also one of the earliest um so you can get a bunch of ore and dragon spire if you want to i'm gonna Let's check real quick and see if they have diamonds in the bazaar. Nope, it's still early morning, so the entire bazaar has been bought. Now, this is an issue. <laughs> this happens a lot. Um, the bazaar tends to be bought out earlier in the morning because I don't know if, like, people just come on, like, when they first wake up and just buy every single reagent they can see or what. But that's that. It's probably the the only reasonable way you'll get massive amounts of diamonds is from the bazaar otherwise you just need to be really patient um cattails um i'm gonna look at it real quick and see if it does have any better locations but yeah i'm pretty sure um the best place actually i think to get them um now that i'm looking at it from the top of my head is either Avalon. I know Avalon probably has a lot in like Lake Shore or something. Lake Shore is definitely a decent place. Basically just anywhere with water. But um, off the top of my head, the one place I know that has a lot is Marleybone because Marleybone not only has them, I believe in like Regent Square and stuff. The one off the top of my head that I know is Digmore Station. Digmore Station tends to have a lot of cattail. Um, okay, you can see right here, Regent Square also has a lot of cattail. You can see boom boom yeah this is probably the best way to do it the fountain has you know cattail in it obviously the bazaar will have cattail as well at some point but if you can't find it at the bazaar this is the best way to get it i just realized i don't the spell isn't there but 220 cattail that will be a little bit of an issue but not too much of an issue it's it's it'll take a hot minute but you'll be fine um now i'm going to show off where to get amber again I've said it before and I'll say it again where to get it, but I'll give you some options this time instead. All right, so the best way to get Amber for a multitude of reasons is the side bosses in Aquila. If you didn't know, there's three of them. There's Gladiator, Demacaris, Cronus, and the Sand Squid. In my opinion, Cronus is probably the easiest to defeat and it's right at the beginning of the dungeon. Less walk time, you'll be able to do it probably a bit faster and he, he isn't that difficult overall now some people recommended uh one person recommended farming gladiator uh because i believe they were myth they said gladiator demacaris is the easiest for like myth and stuff um i would agree that uh, gladiator is definitely uh an option the reason why i don't like gladiator is for two reasons the first is that his natural attack has a minus 75 debuff which is crippling um, you can't obviously use cleanse charms, but that takes an extra round that you would not have with Cronus. Um, and he has three ice minions that spam shields. That's all going to be an issue. Now, obviously, um, when I did Gladiator and I was farming Gladiator for the Alpha and Omega ring, I found the easiest strategy was to go in with my Fire and Storm and use Meteor Strike and Tempest first round. It took out everyone besides Gladiator, and then I use a massive hit on Gladiator like it took like three or four rounds to be gladiator demacaris um i found that cronus i could just bleed faint and then boom he's dead it took like three rounds at most and i could you know average three rounds and it took maybe five minutes at most to be cronus in my runs um sand squid is definitely in my opinion gonna be one of the harder ones it's probably like the hardest boss out of these i think um, and the only reason for that is because there is technically two bosses instead of one, which means you need to faint twice the amount of enemies. If you have a level 100s and above with you, you're probably not going to have a problem with it. I'm not going to say it's impo It's not. I'm not even going to say it's difficult. It's just that it's more difficult than the other two. But it does in my i'm pretty sure i've read places that it has one of the highest amber drops out of any of the fights 
So what I would do is, if you have a good team, go for Atlantis Sand Squid. If you have a um, a more hit filled team and an effective team, go for maybe Gladiator. Um, and if you want just the easiest time all around, go for Cronus. Um, obviously, this is my opinion. If you you can pick whichever one you want. But these are the best people to get Amber from. The other options are 2,500 arena tickets, as I've said before. Kind of shit, and by kind of shit, I mean very shit, because that is, like, an awful option. And also using Amber Dust and Merle's Whiskers, combining them together. And that forms an Amber. Obviously, um, you will get those over the course of just questing. So if I, like, look here, I have 80 Amber Dust. And if I look at my Merle's Whiskers, I have 54. So I don't know how much that can craft me, but it is a decent amount. And that I've just gotten over time. Like that's, I mean, obviously my fire has farmed a lot of things, or has beaten a lot of enemies. But I still think that might not be the way to go, but you might have some extra if you're like, if you've already quested through and you're looking for Amber, you might have some Amber without even knowing it because of that. So, if this was helpful, please drop a like at the sub button. I think Randall's Amend is a pretty good spell. It's an interesting spell because it gives Myth an option to heal. And it gives them an option to heal first round because um, with a starter pip deck, you get five pips anyway. So, I'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day. Thank you all for watching.